just worked on the road, so we're gonna give it a look. I haven't seen it. He was working on the road yesterday. You can tell he's come through here with a box blade and work some of this mud out. No comment. It's better-ish. Better-ish, yes. It's not all mud. No. Plus it could dry out, so. Yeah. Which is the big thing. I mean, it's kind of better, I guess. I don't know. Oh, this isn't a big mud soup right here. Oh, sorry. Cleared it out. So this is the idea that you can put a little, this is the high area, this is a lower area, so hopefully it'll kind of drain across so you can't see it from right there. Alright. So this side right here is higher? No, no, no. Oh. I'm talking about this cut that's in the road right here. Oh, okay. So ideally, it'll kind of come across here so mm -hmm. I cut across here to kind of keep it down but we'll see I don't and there's a low spot right back behind us so I don't know we'll see yeah just one day at a time I guess yeah anyway it's all drained drained out yeah so it's a work in progress just little bits at a time still got to work through here I'm sure well, it's, gonna do with it yeah but I can keep I can keep trying to cut it a little bit I probably will but came through here mm -hmm. anyway that's a lot better as far as driving over it you don't feel like you're well, oh there's a trailer it's insulation truck oh I don't know if it's any better yet but hopefully yeah. it will be that's the idea this area. Yeah, we've done a lot of work here. Drag some of this rock around. Yeah, but it's still too thick. See, I mean, I've dragged, I've worked this and worked this. And look how deep this still is. It's yeah. ridiculous how deep it is. Now this, I dug this trench over here yesterday, uh -huh. so I drained all of this water out that was here. All this was a bunch of water. Okay. So I made that trench right there. I'll get out and look at it. Uh, you can go ahead. Okay. I'm gonna, I don't want to park the truck here as a thing. Oh, okay. Sorry, it's gonna be in my way. Sorry. Oh wow, it is really deep here. So yeah, there was a water, a lot of water collecting here. So we did this little trench, which seemed to fall in a little bit. So you can see, you can see how thick this gravel is. We want to thin it out. It's too thick. So we have a lot of cleaning to do today. Um, we're going to be working with the tractor. Um, we're going to pick up all the small wood it's going to go in a burn pile and then the bigger pieces of wood um, we are going to use reuse repurpose all that fun stuff so parking over by the tiny house today and we put gravel over there a couple days ago well they're getting ready for insulation guys there are plastics on the floor and I can't go in there because of that, but um, yeah, they should be coming out here today. And anytime now. Anytime now and starting on the insulation for the insulation. house. Insulation! Woohoo! Okay, I'm going to go let Norm out. So guys, I don't know how it's going to be today, but we are going to move some piles. Um, we're going to try to save the longer wood and put that in stacks. We're going to put our metal all in stacks, um, but we're just going to clean up around the property so it's not an eyesore. Okay, I filled up the, I filled up the bucket. Keeping this over here. 
here. Um, this either has very little nails in it or just nails on the end. So we can use that kind of stuff for chicken coop. Anything smaller than a foot we're tossing and anything that has way too many nails in it we're tossing. Or not really tossing, we're burning. There's another load to the burn pile. Okay guys, look who's here. The people to uh, spray in the insulation. We had to take the shower backing off so that uh, we could spray behind the shower. So just know that, don't put up your shower until it's sprayed because a lot of people can't spray behind it. Isn't that cool, guys? He's putting up plastic around the windows so that um, those are covered and go don't get sprayed can be quite messy. So the question becomes, in this mall, we yeah. have to decide whether this comes underneath or it goes over the top of it. But my measurements are telling me it's going to come underneath. Yeah. Because 42 inches per height gets us right up there. Yeah. So we'd be underneath this block. So to me, the power is going to have to come out underneath here. Yeah. To get it underneath the cabinet. Now, if our cabinet sat up here, we'll go over the top, but our cabinet is going to be in this region. Yeah. So he's wondering about the spring because he's going to. We are out at the property today, and we did a bunch of work. Um, it was just too much to try to film it and do it at the same time. So let me show you what we did. So all that stuff on the back side of the house is gone now and all the pile here and all the pile of wood so we just have to get 
the metal yet and that's it so looking a lot better out here this is our burn pile of all the wood that we collected around the house um we picked we did most of the mabel did most of the work today um we just stuck it in there and so she this is all ready to get burned so bun bonfire in our future and then if you look over here all this wood wood is some of it has nails in it but hardly any nails if it has nails in it um tons of two by six and two by eight right there um these are end pieces of wood um from you know uh i don't know what that is a, a, a six by six uh two by fours here and there two by six and two by eight more uh, pressure treated wood um long pieces of uh two by or six by six and then these are one by four and then we have all this zip board over here um the zip board will be used for future chicken coops all of this stuff will be used for future animal houses of some kind or another um so one man's trash is another man's treasure as they say right so there you go um that's all our work that we've done today uh next time we're out here we'll collect the metal um that's around the property and left over and then this is just miscellaneous pieces of wood that will also be used for building stuff right here so that's what we got done today it was a lot of work even though mabel did a lot of work my back's a little on the tender side right now let's just say that crossfit homestead crossfit is what i call this when you're working so hard on your homestead you might get a little fit doing it so homestead crossfit is what i'm going to call this video it was a lot of fun working with my husband he was operating uh, mabel and next time we'll get all of the um all of the metal um, collected and that will be nice roofing and siding for chicken coops greenhouses um we also need to make a house for the um well so we need to do that as well ha 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 as well you know <laughs> so um all of that stuff will be made all of that stuff will be made out of this recycled material leftovers from the house so it won't be thrown away the only stuff that will be thrown away is that big pile behind me so you know we got stuff to burn too which is always fun so look for an upcoming live where we're burning that stuff and talking to you guys about what's going on on the homestead all right you guys we'll see you next time here on hedgehog's homestead and as always, God bless. Bye.